Let's copy this. Let's go to button click four. And let's say we, we want to we just want to log every time that changes have been made to the database. Let's say changes made to database. Let's run it and see. Let's delete this. Yep. Let's put save changes. Let's check in our database. Sure enough, changes made to database. And let's look in our log file. Close that down. So now let's go add these logger to the application closing. Let's go back to our form one. Click on this. Let's go properties. Let's click on the events form closing. Let's create that event. And let's go cut and paste these two lines of code. Closing. So I'm going to go and de delete everything from our database. delete our application log file well, let's run it it should have logged into the database into the file that we started the application and now it should have logged that that into the database and into the the application log that we stopped the the application so let's go see in the database So application started, application closing. Let's go look at the application log, application started, application closing. In part two, we're going to create classes derived from event args and event handlers. We're going to create a company growth event args class, which is inherited from the event args. We're going to create company growth handler delegate. We're going to add a method to the company products list class. We're going to implement the, co the company growing event and write to file. And we're going to implement a multicasted delegate. Let's create a new class. Add new item class. And let's call it company growth event args. So let's change the namespace. Let's make it a public class and let's inherit it from event args. Let's create some variables. So private string m company ID new company size m old company size. Let's create the constructor public company growth args string company ID string new company size string old company size.
let's add m company ID equals company ID m underscore new company size equal new company size and m underscore old company size equal old company size. Public string company ID get return M company ID Let's create our event handler. Let's call it public delegate void company growth event handler object sender. Let's close this down. And in our product class, let's go create our event. We'll call it public event company event handler company growing. And let's add a new method. public void company growth notification the string company ID string new company size string old company size we'll add the logic if if company growing is not equal to null growth event args e equals new event args company ID new company size old company size company growing e Oh, sorry. This comma E. 